Hello. Welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will look at stall of an aircraft wing and stall of an aircraft engine. First, let's take a look at wing stall. A stall occurs across a wing when the airflow is no longer attached or gets separated from the wing. This occurs if the aircraft's pitch angle is increased beyond a certain range. This will cause a sudden increase in drag and a decrease in lift on the aircraft. To understand wing stall, we need to take a closer look at the cross-sectional shape of the wing, which is the airfoil. A typical cambered wing airfoil would look like this. Let's take a look at the flow across an airfoil. On the top surface of the airfoil, the air moves faster than the bottom surface of the airfoil. This causes high pressure to be created at the bottom and low pressure to be created on the top, which produces the lift force on the airfoil and the wing. The lift force that is created tends to increase with an increase in the angle of attack. The angle of attack is defined as the angle between the cord line of the airfoil and the horizontal. If the angle of attack is increased, the pressure difference between the top and the bottom surface of the airfoil increases, which will cause an increase in lift. The lift can be created by the airfoil as long as there is a smooth laminar flow across the airfoil. So, if there is a laminar flow, an increase in the angle of attack means that the lift will increase. If the angle of attack is increased further, it reaches something called as the stall angle. At this angle, the flow over the top section of the airfoil changes from a laminar flow to a turbulent flow. This transition will cause a decrease in the lift and an increase in the drag force. The flow separation occurs because the flow does not have enough energy to reach the trailing edge of the airfoil. Thus it becomes a turbulent flow. A graph plotted between lift coefficient and the angle of attack would look like this. And this point represents the stall angle. Because of the airfoil, or wing stall, on the aircraft, this will lead to a decrease in altitude, and a reduction in speed. How to recover an aircraft, after a stall? The pilot has to reduce the pitch angle of the aircraft, increase the thrust, and slowly reduce the bank angle, to zero, if the aircraft had stalled during a roll. Now let's look at an engine stall on a jet engine. As the name suggests, an engine stall occurs within an engine. More specifically, it occurs in the compressor stages of the gas turbine engine. Let's look at some of the reasons for an engine stall to occur. The engine stall can occur due to a foreign object damage or Dirty compressor components. Ice formation. Operation of an engine outside its safe envelope. How can an engine stall be identified? There could be no thrust lever response, or significant deviation of engine parameters, or flames being visible at the engine exhaust, or engine vibrations. To understand what is an engine stall, let's take a closer look at a turbofan engine. An engine stall occurs 
due to an airflow disruption, in the compressor stages of the engine. The compressor stages, consists of a series of airfoil-shaped blades. Because of the flow disruption, the flow will separate from these blades, which will cause the engine to stall. How to recover the engine, after an engine stall? The pilot should reduce the thrust, on the affected engine. And then, monitor the engine parameters. Let's summarize, a wing stall, and an engine stall. A wing stall occurs at high angles of attack. Whereas an engine stall, may occur due to, improper handling of the engine. A wing stall leads to an increase in drag, and decrease in lift. And an engine stall, leads to a decrease in thrust. To recover from a wing stall, the angle of attack has to be reduced, and the thrust has to be increased. To recover from an engine stall, the thrust has to be decreased, and then increased gradually, if the stall conditions no longer exist. But a common similarity between a wing stall, and an engine stall, is that, they occur due to flow separation, across the airfoil section. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do subscribe for more videos.